so yeah, I mean, it's a bit surreal really to be here in New York talking to you about this because this all had very humble origins and we certainly didn't dream of anything like this on, on such a global scale. Um, the whole thing started for us about seven years ago. I co-founded this little business in Scotland called Social Bite. It actually started as a little cafe, sort of coffee sandwich shop in the centre of Edinburgh. Um, and originally the idea, to be honest, didn't have anything to do with the homelessness issue. Um, but what happened was we met this young man who was 19 years old. He was homeless. He was selling this magazine on the street corner outside the front door of our little cafe. And after about two weeks, he came into the shop this day and he plucked up the courage and he asked us if he could have a job. Um, so we kind of thought... Why not? It seemed like a nice thing to do, and we gave him a job in our kitchen. Um, basically, he worked very hard. We saw the employment was very transformative for him, and we thought, we'll try it again. So we asked this guy, Pete, if he knew anybody else that was homeless and that might want a job, and he suggested his brother, Joe. Um, so we gave Joe a job. He worked hard. Another job came up, and they recommended someone else. Almost by accident, really, we started to offer jobs to homeless people, um, and that kind of got us started in that world. We then sort of introduced this service in the cafe where customers could pay it forward um, and maybe people started to buy extra sandwiches or coffees for people that were homeless to get something for free. And again, almost before we'd realized it, we started to feed about 40 or 50 people every day in this little cafe. Um, so that was the origins about seven years ago. And over the last seven years, we've really sort of expanded our work. Uh, and now this is the first year we're, we're trying to do something on an international scale. Mm -hmm.